Hi folks, Lynn Vaccaro coming to you from Infertility Sucks to check in with all the natural fertility seekers and um, say hello and I hope you're having a great summer. Haven't been around too much because I'm busy with kids in the summer a little more and stuff like that, but I've been um, wanting to do this video um, topic on early pregnancy success and the role of the corpus luteum. Um, if for those of you who don't know what the corpus luteum is, um, it is the mass that is left behind um, after your egg releases and you've ovulated. It's the mass that's left behind and it's super important in um, um, maintaining your pregnancy in such early, early, um, when the conception first begins. And then um, um, what happens is when you first conceive that new life is called a zygote and as it's traveling through your tube, you know, right then, as it's conceived, as it's traveling through your tube, trying to make its way down to your um, uh, uterus so you it can embed in your endometrium, it um, starts secreting um, HCG, which is a long term for human hormone, um, to let... That secretes um, from the baby itself, from the new life, and it, it signals the corpus luteum where your egg came from to, okay, I'm here, um, and then the, the corpus luteum will um, uh, respond by secreting progesterone so that you can have, um, so that you can man maintain your endometrial tissue, you know, um, for that new life to embed and then um once it embeds the the progesterone needs to continue to um, be secreted by that healthy corpus luteum that um that you want you want to to have lots of progesterone coming from it um the stronger your egg quality was preceding it and the 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 more um, healthy and and lush the egg was, um, the better for your corpus luteum. Jeez, this keeps slipping. Um, so um, it's essential to have healthy eggs, as I've been saying in all my preceding uh, videos, and this is one of the reasons why, because your early early stages of pregnancy, the first. Uh, two, three months, rely on that healthy corpus luteum to emit um, just lots of progesterone so that you can, um, you the, so that your endometrial lining stays in there, supple, lush, and ready for that new zygote life to embed in, into it. And then once it is embedded, it needs to, you know, it will continue the, the, new life will continue to talk to the corpus luteum and um, you know let it know it's there and if of course you had a healthy egg the baby's gonna be healthy and then the corpus luteum uh, will be signaled strongly and then the corpus luteum is gonna be healthy because one healthy thing follows another so um, that's basically what the corpus luteum does and it is also essential in um, um, forming the, um, helping to form the placenta. All that progesterone that it keeps uh, pouring out and making you sick, um, you want, in fact, you want to feel sick. If you're not feeling sick enough, um, well, that can sometimes just be some women that don't get that sick. Um, but... The, generally speaking, the sicker you feel, the more nauseous you feel, the healthier your egg and pregnancy is going to be um, because you have that progesterone. The progesterone level, high level of progesterone is what's making you ill. And that's good because then you know 
that baby's talking to that corpus luteum and all that healthy stuff went on. And um, then the uh, placenta will be formed. And uh, then uh, that will be embedded into your endometrium as well. And then the baby will get plenty of nutrients and, and um, oxygen and everything from the placenta. So early pregnancy success is really um, very, very uh, tied into a healthy corpus luteum. In fact, for those of, of you who have done ultrasounds um, to measure your corpus luteum, uh, corpus luteum measurement is something done many times um, when women are uh, looking to, are having fertility um, procedures done because then the, the doctor is going to be measuring, you know, your size of your corpus luteum and the bigger the better, generally, because it, it's, it shows a healthier mass and just, I guess that's what they look for is a nice size corpus luteum. So um, I just kind of wanted to do this uh, little video and let you know once again that it's the quality of the egg and that um, your lifestyle and your diet um, prior to any of that even occurring um, is going to be um, instrumental in, in um, what's going to occur in your early pregnancy. So with that, I bid you baby dust and lots of health and wellness and continue to juice and exercise and all those things that make your eggs healthy and hopefully all that stuff will work together bring you a beautiful baby and until then i bid you farewell and i will be in touch take care bye bye